question of you know if you're playing or not. So get back on the field and have a successful uh, four quarters is awesome. Uh, dominating. Uh, we struggled with that team the past two years, so that big one obviously feels great. Where are you kind of at with uh, recruiting right now? Uh, you know, you got some schools sticking out. How does your offer list just kind of stick out at this point? I mean, it's big. Uh, I've, I'm, not, I'm not planning on coming in to a decision anytime soon. Uh, take it easy. Obviously, with this year, this coronavirus thing, a uh, major setback. So uh, I just kind of want to take it on. Hopefully, I can get some games either next year or maybe some spring practices. Uh, spend time with the team and the coaches and try and build relationships and we'll go from there. With uh, yeah, the whole virus, how, how did uh, that just kind of impact things for you in terms of schools you know, you weren't you each able to see? And you know, what are some schools you kind of have on your mind when this dead period ever sure. comes to an end? I mean, obviously, you know, the big schools, uh, Ohio State, Wisconsin, LSU, Notre Dame, uh, Tennessee, and you know, all those schools. Uh, it's been difficult uh, going on the phone all the time. You know, I try and make the best of your situation. Uh, obviously, obviously, I'd rather be in person seeing these teams, but um, getting on the phone almost every day, it's great uh, talking to these coaches. So, Since September 1st, who would you kind of say has been the most consistent with you? Uh, you know, which schools are prioritizing you right now? Uh, everyone. I'm getting blown up, really. Uh, there's not really one specific school that stands out. Obviously, I talk to every coach a lot. Um, so. Wisconsin and Coach Rudolph, just a kind of message I can hear from him. You know, he's just kind of trying, trying to drive. Yeah, I mean, uh, I talk to him every once in a while. I'm also talking to Herring, but, you know, I feel like we have a very strong relationship. Uh, I love Rudolph, a great guy. Um, he's He basically just wants me to focus on football right now, uh, nothing else. Obviously, with all this, uh, stay safe and keep on playing. Uh, are they talking more guard or tackle for you? Tackle. How, how does, uh, you know, I'm sure you've noticed just all, all the guys that brought in at that position. You know, how, how does that affect you at all if in, in any way, just you know, the way they've loaded up that tackle the last two classes? For sure. I mean, it's uh, it's a little bit concerning, but that just shows that, you know, Wisconsin's a big school for offensive linemen. So, I mean, it go either way. Um, besides your offers, what all schools are you getting interest from to have an offer this summer? Uh, I've been texting Alabama a little bit. Oh, that's really it. And then uh, just in terms of a, a timeline, do you think you want to use you know, all five official visits this spring and summer, or do you think maybe you'll push those back even next year just to do those game day trips? I, th I think I'll, I'll try and use all five. Um, you know, get out there with my family, spend time, see if I'm comfortable with the school. So I think, I think it's really helpful to use all those five, so I'm going to try and, you know, take advantage of it. Well, whenever it's time to right. get serious about, uh, you know, the decision, what, what kind of things do you think it will come down to for you? Definitely a strong relationship with uh, my position coach. Um, academics is huge for me, and where I feel where I feel like I'm at home, and my family feels that I'm comfortable there. other guys at Wisconsin's recruiting yep. along with Joe Thomas I yep. think uh, just kind of take us through how that meant and maybe the message that Joe Thomas sent you guys oh man I've um you know me and my dad we admire Joe Thomas uh, he's obviously one of the greatest tackles of all time so hearing from him uh, it was an honor really uh with me and the two other um linemen in the class to talk with him uh talk technique uh his his lifestyle as a college player and the NFL player um, to kind of you know let us know how life really is, and it was awesome. Last thing here, is the recruiting process kind of wearing on you? Uh, you mentioned a lot of schools being in contact, a lot of phone calls coming in. Is that process kind of getting to you? I guess how are you approaching that right I now? I mean, yeah, I mean, especially with school, uh, it's a lot. I try and you know take my time with the text, you know, every hour or so, I answer to one coach, but it's a lot. So, but I'm obviously I'm grateful. It's awesome. Okay, thanks so much.